Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this message comes to you on a very special time of Maha Shivratri. Now, you might say, "What is that huge word you just spoke?" It basically is honoring Lord Shivji, who is considered to be part of the Trinity that is holding up mankind, the ultimate expression of Divine Father, and He is watching over over. All of us this day of Friday, March the eighth, twenty twenty-four, and this day. Don't worry about how you connect to him. Just connect to him through heart. That's why I chose this visual. This visual literally called me. You can say to share it with you, and even if you've never connected with him before. Or you're not of that culture, not the Hindu culture, and you don't know anything about him and this festival and why it's celebrated. Celebrate being alive. Celebrate the word on the card. Transcendence. Transcend the limited expression of you, the limited enjoyment of life, the li- limited understanding for the unlimited. Just look into his eyes for one moment. But the notes that come along with this, there will be a mantra to help you connect to him. And with full heart, say that all day and always. Just continue looking at different symbols on this visual, within this visual, and imagine it within you. Here, I will not tell you how to do that. You will do it for yourself. But he wants to connect with you, and there are many reasons that people feel, or many mythology you can say, related to this day and why it's celebrated. Some say it's the union of Lord Shivji with his twin flame. Mata Parvati, the union of feminine and masculine in a perfect manner, coming together, and this is, you can say, celebration also for her penance that she observed to marry Lord Shivji, and that that came through, and came to be true, and represents true love. In all its ways, so don't give up hope. Wherever it is that you've lost hope, it's not just about romantic love, but hope for life, hope for abundance, hope for peace, hope for understanding, hope for acceptance. Again, he has each of those attributes within him: the ultimate Father. And as you look at this visual again, it will take on a new meaning for you because a golden and white, and this time purple and blue, kind of flame of light will be coming through. Though it's not really there in the actual imagery, you'll feel it more than you can say see it, feel it. Let that part of you connect now. That's your cosmic heart opening, because you see, right in front of the heart, he has the sword he's often connected with, which is called the Trishul. Why is it Trishul? Tripointed, mind, body, spirit, past, present, future. You can clear, you can imagine, you can balance, you can manifest, you can move. In the way you want to move forward, Reiki practitioners put symbols here, and also what he loves to hear the sound of. This is one way to really please him: the sound of drums and tinkling of bells. Right there in the center of the tishul is the famous cosmic drum of balance. Even if you don't have a single drum in your house, and you say, "How do I do that?" Just touch it, 
and ask to rise up. Wherever you feel blocked, wherever it is you're tired, wherever it is that you want to know more, you want to do more, but you're not just able to. You just feel yourself going into the same patterns again and again and again. The same form of expression, form of reaction. It's tiring. That's why that cosmic orb behind him is literally in movement. See it moving. That's why that structure is there right behind him. It's literally the wall or one of the walls of your Akashic space. So to each one of you, it will appear different. At one point, you might be connecting to the squares and the lines. And in the other point, you will see the lines connecting the cosmic orb and creating meaning, a message, movement. Just keep writing it down. And this time, it is not your heart that will react, but your cosmic mind. See, in every way you're being moved and growing, you can say, and rising and becoming more of your divine self, recognizing your divine self, enjoying your divine self. And we forget that we have that. We just even describe ourselves in a limited manner. He doesn't want you to do that. Just look back into his eyes. Who am I really? And it's not about life purpose. It's not about being perfect. Just who are you, divine child of God? Just get that answer. Your mind will tell you because your mind is moving and growing and also like wind is moving beyond a limited window, you can say, out into the field, the sky, the landscape of the cosmos and the Akashic spaces. This is a wonderful time to work with the Akashic guides and oracle cards. Find out what it is that your mind really wants to perceive and understand and has been aching for all this time. Maybe inspiration that you've had that you just held on to and you don't know what to do with it. Action steps. For those action steps, look at what he's wearing on his arms. It's literally a piece of him wrapping himself around you to give you that fashion. And Archangel Michael is also very much helping this process. These, these are the huge Rudraksh Mala. And they're literally wrapped around his left and right wrist and arm. So don't feel held back. Don't feel fearful. Don't doubt. Write down step by step if you need to. Whatever it is that you need to do, give yourself the chance to do it this day, dear one. Everything is limitless. You will recognize that very soon and enjoy it. Literally be dancing with the supreme destroyer of life. Now you might say, you're saying in one sense that I'm lim limitless. Then why are you saying destroyer? Destroying all that is unnecessary. No longer serves you. Dark. Old. The ego. Fear. Negativity. In no way does it serve any purpose in your life. He'll help you destroy that and destroy it forever. Not just for a moment. Not just momentary concerns and just zap, it's gone. That help is forever. That knowing, that depth, the power, the strength you receive comes from him. That's why he's looking straight into your eyes. And even your third eye is open now, able to see beyond what you think you're capable of. You might be amazed at the visuals that come through, the symbols that you understand, the colors that you connect to, the other forms of life that you connect to this day. For those who want to engage in more visual, creative activities, this is the time to start that painting, to look into that oracle card, 
in whatever way you want to understand. Even mandalas, putting that cosmic orb, maybe, onto a paper as a mandala and understanding it and creating a holy mandala for yourself. That might be something you might engage in this day. It's totally up to you. This time there's no conflict between mind and heart. They'll happily like jump together in that sense to work this out so that you really enjoy. When we say Mahashivratri, Ratri usually means basically nighttime. This night is helping you leave the daytime of pain for the nighttime of unlimited, of pure, of blessings and walking into a new form of life and a new way of being again for eternity. And all of this sounds very esoteric. Ask for those practical signs, application steps, action steps this very day to His holy cosmic rose, the rose of wisdom that is right there in His palm guiding you. Feel that. See it. If you need to use it as sound, because drum can also be applied here. The mantras that you can incite to him, different form of prayer, invocation, meditation, of course. However you use sound, you want to use sound. Give yourself the chance to just explore and be different and step out of the box and don't be afraid. That's the number one rule, really, with Lord Shivji. Leave fear behind. For what? For love. For enjoyment. Acceptance. Receiving. Understanding. All those words seem to be repetitive because sometimes they seem very obvious to us, but we don't apply them in our everyday. We still go back to feeling limited and angry and doubtful and fearful. And if you see his third eye, it's open now looking at you. So also feel the sense of absolute protection that he brings if you need that. Security, safety, as as you're transcending. You say there's so many things that are going wrong with my life. See these very, very problems. Immediate By the word immediate, I just left it for a moment. What immediate? Immediate change within you, around you, in your environment, in your day. Signs. You find it easier just to do everything and to receive and to understand and to just be. Just to be you. That's why there's lines also to the left and right side. The baggage that you really will leave behind finally this day. And what you apply towards your future and how you choose to be for the future. Choices are always given to you. You're never without choice. Never without options. Reasons to smile. Reasons to be happy. They're all being created for you. Literally through that third eye. So enjoy visualizations, meditations, maybe also meditations that help you visualize where you've been guided by others, angelic forces that you like to connect with. It all merges together beautifully. And Shivji loves the earth so much that some say he got the name of Nilkant, which is basically blue throat, because he absorbed poison all the pain of the world into his throat. That, and that's why some say he's wearing that mala next to his throat. So even if verbalizing or speaking up for yourself is a problem, or you have throat issues, health issues right now, this is the time to understand why you have them and to let that go. Surrender, release, be. And also what he's wearing 
Some might question that too. It's a snake. What's the snake got to do with anything? Karmic baggage, karmic issues, karmic balancing. Taking away the bitterness and bringing meaning and wisdom back into your life again. And understanding that you are meant to be happy. You're not meant to suffer. Suffering is not giving you any spiritual points. It's just giving you more pain. Anger is not giving you any reason to feel powerful. It's just making you angry, more limited, because that's all you focus on. Even if there's a beautiful representation or Shivji himself at your door, being so limited, you will not even honor that. I'm not saying that you will miss it. You can't miss a chance. He'll keep on giving you ways to connect with him. You just keep trying. I choose to be happy and I want to be. Give me ways to recognize that. So don't think you can miss a chance or that I don't know so much about spirituality, but perhaps this is the day you're supposed to rise up because there's a huge, also shining moon right there on top of his crown saying we're opening the heavenly spaces to you. Enchantment, wisdom, the Akashic spaces, the heavenly realms, they're all open. Now you might say, you said huge, but it's only half. That's because it's you growing into the full moon or the new moon. Put it that way. It's becoming new, fresh. Enjoy that process. Be easy with yourself. Graceful, peaceful, relaxed, flowing, trust, faith, It's all going together. And anything you need, if you want to just stop in the middle of the message and look at one of the symbols, go ahead and do that. Transcendence asks you to do that. To not stop asking. To not hesitate in any way. Risk. Feel. Try. And risking, you might find actually... I managed to do that. That was not so hard. That phone call you need to make, the book you need to start writing, without thinking about who's accepting that book or not, there are people waiting for you. Maybe you want to be a teacher. Not just a spirituality, but just a teacher otherwise. And you find out there is people out there looking for the kind of course that you want to provide. And you thought there were there was no audience for it. The audience will spring up if you decide to be available and make yourself available. Marketing, all of that will come together. Just give yourself a chance to dream, to engage in that dream, and to try for that dream, and to step into that dream. Now look at these words. They will now make more sense. Because we're finally going to talk about his flowing hair and why it's coming down like that. First of all, rise up. Rise up to what? Whatever you want to rise up to. Rise higher. Understand more of the universe, how the universal life forces are helping you. All the spiritual potential you carry all the help that's available, the action steps, the methods. It's not so hard. Don't make it hard for yourself. Honor your inner force. You're far more powerful and beautiful and precious than you realize, but you don't give yourself half the chance. You don't praise yourself enough because you think that's selfish or egotistical. Praising is only egotistical when it makes you selfish. A true person connected to the cosmic mind and to the cosmic heart will just naturally flow towards service. That's just the way they function. Angelic forces, Lord Shivji here. Look at the amount of compassion and love pouring through every portion of his being. That will be you. You just want to love that beautiful red dot in the circle Right there, 
right below his third eye. Why is it so small? Because it allows you to be in the moment, to feel powerful, to feel connected, vibrant, passionate, and alive. That's why it's all coming together so beautifully. Moment to moment. No need to overanalyze. No need to feel like you have to be ultra perfect. Steps are being given. That's the very next words in the oracle cards. And you just dance with the universe. How easy is that to follow? Perfect, right? For this night that you're stepping into, he's helping you step out of all that is blocking you and stopping you. You'll only get the best of life. No matter what religion you belong to right now. But of course, for Hindus, this is a very special time. Honor that. Enjoy it. Be grateful that you got a chance to be part of that tradition. And if you're not, honor him this way. Honor yourself. God wants you to remember that you are divine. And if you see how now his hair is flowing that beautiful enchanted moon is touching the crown ever so gently, helping you cultivate thoughts that are meaningful, powerful, that have purpose for you, that bring more happiness and meaning into your life. And very nicely just circling around the crown So moment to moment, thoughts and small things and details will be like a gift that's given to you. And that's why his hair also is flowing to the left and right side, touching everything, wherever it needs, wherever you need the help, wherever you need to remember what is real, what is not real, leave the problems behind step into the future, all of it is being given to you. Everything is touching each other. You find the meaning for it for yourself. Have fun with this process. And I will again go back to Hindi, to Sanskrit. Mahashivratri ke shubh kamnai. Dance with the universe, dear one. This comes so beautifully and powerfully. To the Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at kylegray.co.uk. And the superb way that Lord Shivji becomes so real to us. His very essence is pouring through the art of Lily Moses. And Lily can be reached at lilymoses.com. And this is Tina signing off for now. And we meet again tomorrow. Have a superb day and even more precious night. Bye for now.